The Congo Basin is the world's second largest tropical forest. It is home to gorillas, elephants, buffaloes and other endangered species. The Congo is renowned as a prime sanctuary for enigmatic beings that coexist with humans, concealed within extensive stretches of thick tropical forests that encompass a significant portion of its land. This captivating refuge harbors a realm ripe with enigmas, fostering a setting where these beings can effortlessly remain unnoticed, patiently awaiting illumination. Accompany us as we unveil the 15 chilling revelations in the Congo that have the ability to frighten anyone. Number 1. Jaba Fofi, the Giant Spider The Congo jungle is a captivating and enigmatic place, inhabited by a wide array of captivating creatures, both familiar and unfamiliar. Among these creatures is a massive spider known as Jaba Fofi, which has become the subject of spine-chilling tales. Local tribes and explorers have described these enormous arachnids as having bodies the size of basketballs and legs that stretch up to one and a half meters. These colossal spiders skillfully construct gigantic webs that span across vast distances between trees. The strength of these webs is such that they can ensnare not only animals but also humans. According to local accounts, these spiders cleverly dig shallow tunnels below tree roots, concealing them beneath a pile of leaves. They then intricately weave nearly invisible webs connecting their burrow to nearby trees, effectively creating a network of trip lines. Unsuspecting animals, unknowingly venturing towards their own demise, accidentally trip these lines, alerting the spider to their presence. The victim is subsequently pursued and trapped in the web. This predatory behavior bears similarities to that of various species of trapdoor spiders. The initial sighting of the Jabba Fofi by a Western observer occurred in the 1890s near Lake Nyasa, when British missionary Arthur John Symes and his companions stumbled upon one of these creatures. Symes's companions became entangled in a colossal web, and two giant spiders measuring almost one meter in length emerged and attacked them. Symes himself was bitten, but managed to escape after shooting one of the creatures with his pistol. However, he later experienced symptoms such as a deathly complexion, severe chills, swelling around the bite area, and delirium, eventually losing consciousness and succumbing to these effects. Native inhabitants have stated that these spiders were once abundant, but are now becoming scarce. The encroachment of civilization, through the conversion of rainforests into agricultural land, may have driven these spiders away from their natural habitats. Number 2. The Dingonek during the early 1900s, brave Western explorers ventured into the African wilderness with the aim of making new discoveries. In their explorations, they came across various plant and animal species that were previously unknown, and among them was a peculiar creature unlike anything they had ever seen. This mysterious being, known as the Dingonek, possessed a lengthy snout resembling that of a walrus, the armored shell similar to an armadillo, and a spotted pattern resembling that of a leopard. It measured between three to five meters in length. The first official encounter with this extraordinary creature occurred in 1907 when a British traveler and big game hunter named John Alfred Jordan, along with his hunting party, came across it. Initially, Jordan had heard about the mythical Dingonek, but had dismissed the tale as doubtful. However, destiny had a different plan for him. While on a hunting expedition, local hunters called Jordan to the river, claiming that the creature was waiting for him there. When Jordan set eyes on the beast, his fear intensified to an unimaginable level, leading him to shoot at its neck using a powerful rifle typically used for taking down elephants. The creature swiftly jumped out of the water and disappeared into the surrounding jungle, causing Jordan to flee in terror. Despite tirelessly searching for the beast and its tracks along shorelines and bodies of water for two days following the encounter, Jordan never again came across the creature. Number 3. The Vibranium Stone Locals in Monono, Congo's Tanganyika province, have recently stumbled upon an assortment of peculiar stones. However, these stones hold more than just an unusual appearance. They possess a fascinating attribute, an electric charge. Soon after this remarkable discovery, people began capturing and sharing videos showcasing the extraordinary nature of the stones, creating a viral sensation on the internet. By rubbing the stones together, they emit powerful sparks resembling a welding process. In one particular video, 
an individual manages to illuminate a light bulb using one of these unusual stones. All of these newly unearthed stones share a common trait. They are dark, nearly black in color, and possess a shiny surface. It is highly probable that they are composed of an unidentified mineral. Some fans of comic books suggest a connection to vibranium, a fictional substance in Marvel Comics renowned for its usage in Captain America's shield, as well as the suits of Black Panther and Falcon. Conversely, scientists hold the current belief that the videos are phony, as conventional stones do not typically possess the capacity to release the necessary electrons for charge storage and generation. Number 4. The Mountain Gorillas the wildlife of Congo has long fascinated people around the world and those who explore the region. In the mid-1800s, travelers began spreading stories about the enormous gorillas that lived in the mountains of Congo. By the early 1900s, a German captain was the first to encounter these remarkable mountain gorillas, who were as tall as 2 meters and weighed over 200 kilograms. These rare gorillas quickly became the focus of scientific study, but their habitat was limited to the dangerous slopes of six volcanoes in the Virunga mountain range. The Civil War in 1967 made it extremely challenging to study and protect these rare gorillas. Despite the difficulties, American primatologist Diane Fossey bravely decided to continue her research on these primates. She initiated several conservation efforts to protect them from poachers. Tragically, Diane Fossey herself fell victim to poachers in 1985. However, her steadfast dedication ensured the survival of the endangered mountain gorilla species. Today, these gorillas can only be found in Uganda's National Park and the Virunga National Park, with an estimated population of around 1,000 individuals. These parks provide an opportunity to embark on an incredible adventure of observing these endangered mountain gorillas. However, despite these measures, they remain constantly threatened by poaching. Poachers hunt gorillas for their meat, which is considered a delicacy in some parts of Africa. Efforts must be made to ensure the survival of this species. Number 5. Historic Artifacts The Congo Basin, an ancient civilization known for its remarkable artistic legacy, had a deep connection to art. Skilled Congolese artists crafted exquisite sculptures, masks, and textiles that not only captivate viewers with their meticulous details and stylized forms, but also serve as gateways to their culturally rich heritage. Among the most renowned Congolese artworks were the Congo and Nkizi statues, Yaka masks, and Kuba Endopi statues. These masterpieces showcased a mystical blend of designs and symbols, each conveying a unique story and spiritual significance. Certain statues were even believed to serve as portals between heavenly beings and humans. Sadly, this extraordinary cultural heritage experienced a painful history of looting. In the late 19th century, Belgium colonized Congo, and driven by greed and power, Belgian officials and explorers plundered a vast collection of Congolese art and artifacts. These historic treasures were acquired through oppression and violence, inflicting significant losses upon the Congolese people. According to local legends, some of these sculptures imbued with mystical powers vanished mysteriously, evading the clutches of the invaders and remaining undiscovered to this day. However, in recent times, there has been a movement to correct these historical injustices. In 2021, Belgium announced its intention to return some of the looted works to Congo. This crucial step towards reconciliation instills hope in the Congo people that they will be able to reclaim their stolen cultural heritage and begin the process of healing wounds from the past. Number 6. Kongamato The belief that a few dinosaur species could be living in the depths of the Congolese jungles may be somewhat believable, but the notion that a flying dinosaur has managed to remain hidden for an extensive period of time without any photographic evidence is truly unimaginable. This is the essence of the Kongamato legend a tale that has been passed down by villagers in Congo and Zambia for centuries. According to their accounts, this creature is an enormous bird-like reptile with leathery wings, lacking feathers, and possessing a long, terrifying beak or snout filled with sharp teeth. Rumors have even circulated about a diamond-tipped tail. The name Kongamato, translated as breaker of boats in the local language, was given to this horrifying being due to the majority of alleged attacks on villagers occurring near bodies of water such as rivers or lakes.
While this cryptic legend may seem fantastical to us, to them, it appears to be a genuine creature. Witnesses have returned to their towns with horrifying injuries, claiming to have been attacked by the Kongamato. All signs point to one conclusion. The creature in question is likely a pterodactyl. Fossil evidence suggests that these flying dinosaurs exclusively fed on fish, which aligns with the reports of attacks primarily targeting fishermen or individuals near water. The first documented encounter with the Kongamato dates back to 1932, recounted by American zoologist Ivan Sanderson. Sanderson was assaulted by a toothed monster, but managed to escape by leaping into a river and shooting at the creature with his revolver. Despite the bullets, the flying creature appeared unaffected and ultimately fled in terror. Number 7. Deadliest Diseases Deep within the dense and captivating Congo jungle lies a place filled with extraordinary creatures and awe-inspiring scenery. However, amidst its enchantment, there are concealed dangers that pose a significant risk to adventurous tourists and dedicated researchers who venture into its depths. One disease in particular has gained a notorious reputation in this lush tropical environment, Ebola. Since its appearance in the 1970s, this devastating illness has caused immense suffering, marked by symptoms like fever, hemorrhaging, and dire consequences. Even in the recent years, such as 2021, outbreaks serve as haunting reminders of its persistent threat. The virus, which spreads through bodily fluids, presents a serious danger to individuals working with infected patients or handling animal remains. Malaria also poses a major health concern that plagues the Congo with alarming frequency. The gravity of these dreadful diseases is amplified by the region's remote and unforgiving terrain, which creates significant barriers to crucial medical care and transportation to treatment facilities. Additionally, the presence of armed conflicts exacerbates the challenges in combating disease outbreaks, creating a complex and hazardous environment for healthcare professionals and researchers alike. Despite the peril posed by these deadly pathogens, researchers and healthcare professionals remain resolute in their pursuit of effective treatments and preventive measures. Through multifaceted efforts, they aim to reduce the dangers associated with these afflictions and enhance the well-being of the people residing in and traversing the Congo jungle. These initiatives encompass a wide range of approaches, including the genetic exploration of the Ebola virus and the development of innovative malaria vaccines. By stretching the boundaries of scientific understanding and fostering collaboration across various disciplines, they strive to unravel the mysteries of these diseases and safeguard the vulnerable populations that call this remarkable region their home. Number 8. Mahamba The people of Congo have a tale about a terrifying reptile that resides in the swamps near Lake Likwala. According to the legend, this creature measures 15 meters in length, possessing immense jaws capable of effortlessly crushing a human. It stays hidden in marshes, patiently waiting for potential prey. Once a suitable target draws near, it swiftly attacks and captures its victim with its formidable jaws. The locals firmly believe that this legendary creature, known as the Mahamba, is unlike any other animal they have encountered. They claim that it burrows long tunnels into the ground that lead to sleeping chambers deep within the earth. Renowned cryptozoologist Roy P. McCall conducted two expeditions to the Republic of Congo in the 1960s to search for these Congolese monsters. Although he never discovered the creature, he did gather some evidence and eyewitness testimonies supporting its existence. Many cryptozoologists speculate that the Mahamba could be a surviving freshwater species related to the Mosasaur, a marine reptile believed to have vanished at the end of the Cretaceous period. Other researchers propose that it may be a descendant of prehistoric crocodiles, such as Dinosuchus or Sarcosuchus, both of which were significantly larger than modern-day crocodiles. In the 1880s, a writer and engineer named John Reinhardt Werner, working for the Congo Free State, recounted his experience in his book Stanley's Rear Guard. While hunting ducks on a sandbank, he claimed to have witnessed a monstrous crocodile longer than the steamship he was aboard, which measured almost 13 meters in length. The legend of the Mahamba endures to this day, with some Congolese tribes firmly maintaining their belief in this creature's presence in the expansive areas surrounding Lake Likwala. Consequently, they avoid that specific part of the lake at all costs. 
Number 9. Cave of Agonizing Death Attilio Gatti, an Italian filmmaker and explorer, distinguished himself among the many adventurers who ventured into the Congo in the early 1900s. With a profound fascination for African culture, Gatti extensively traveled through Africa, delving into the natural environment of the Congo and immersing himself in the vibrant traditions of its indigenous people. Throughout his African endeavors, Gatti achieved significant feats, including building an extensive collection of photographs, creating a film, and authoring numerous books about the country. During his explorations, local Africans shared tales with Gatti about treacherous caves, which were believed to be inhabited by malevolent spirits, claiming the lives of those who dared to enter. Intrigued by these stories, Gatti embarked on a daring mission to uncover the secrets of the infamous Kawena Cave. Its name, derived from the local language, referred to it as the Cave of Agonizing Death, historically used by sorcerers and witch doctors to curse their adversaries. Gatti saw conquering this cave and emerging triumphant as the ultimate test of his audacious spirit. Gathering a crew, Gatti embarked on his quest with unwavering determination. Upon approaching the cave, he was met with a repugnant stench emanating from its depths. The darkness obscured everything beyond the entrance, leaving him with no choice but to lower himself into the abyss. There, he confronted the horrifying sight of skeletal remains and a swarm of approaching cobras. Overwhelmed with fear and unable to escape, Gatti fired his revolver, dispersing the snakes among the bones and debris, desperately attempting to find a way back to safety. Using loose stones, he constructed a rudimentary platform and with all his strength managed to scramble to the summit, gripping the rope tightly. The following minutes were a tumultuous blur of terror for the exhausted explorer. He climbed inch by excruciating inch, his fingers torn and his arms close to dislocating. Eventually he emerged from the cave, sore and drained, vowing never to test the accounts of the Congolese people again. Number 10. A Living Dinosaur Millions of years back, the Earth experienced a massive asteroid impact, which caused a dust cloud to envelop the atmosphere and darken the skies for an extended period. As a result, plant life perished due to lack of sunlight, leading to the subsequent extinction of herbivores and then carnivores. Approximately 70% of all creatures on Earth were obliterated during this catastrophic event, known as the Chicxulub impact, widely believed to have caused the extinction of dinosaurs. However, there are speculations about certain dinosaurs managing to survive. According to some people, the Mokele Mbembe, a mythical creature rumored to inhabit the Congo, could be one such dinosaur species. Descriptions of the Mokele Mbembe portray it as elephant-sized, possessing a long neck, a single tooth, and a muscular tail. This creature is presumed to be herbivorous, and its name signifies its ability to halt the river's flow. Numerous accounts of Mokele Mbembe sightings have emerged over the years. One of the most well-known encounters was reported by Gustav Lecoint, a German explorer in 1909. Lecoint claimed to have witnessed a large, long-necked creature swimming in a river during his expedition in the Congo. He described the creature to be as large as an elephant, with a long neck, a single tooth, a hump on its back, and a tail as long as its body. Some people consider Lecoint's testimony as credible evidence and propose that the Mokele Mbembe could potentially be a surviving example of the plant-eating sauropod dinosaurs. Number 11. Monolith In November 2020, a mysterious monolith appeared in Utah, capturing global attention. Shortly after, shiny monoliths started appearing in various countries including Germany, India, the United Kingdom, and the Netherlands. This led to conspiracy theories and comparisons to the monoliths depicted in the film 2001, A Space Odyssey, which are believed to have influenced human evolution. Then, in February 2021, a metallic structure measuring 3.5 meters tall appeared mysteriously in the Bandel neighborhood of Kinshasa, in the Congo. Unlike in Europe, the locals viewed this structure with suspicion due to their strong superstitions. Some believe the monolith was connected to dark forces, as a result, city officials decided to protect the monolith and conduct a thorough investigation. Despite increasing curiosity about the origins of these structures, all attempts to determine their creators failed. Moreover, no evidence of transportation was found, adding to the mystery. 
In a surprising turn of events, the mob eventually set fire to the monolith in hopes of unveiling its secrets, only to discover that it was hollow with metal sheets carefully placed over a frame. Number 12. Cobalt Mining When discussing Congo, it is crucial to acknowledge the perilous and hazardous locations where valuable minerals are extracted. Congo is famous for its abundant mineral resources, including cobalt, coltan, copper, tin, and even gold. Some of these minerals, like cobalt, are essential for the proper functioning of everyday electronic devices. Without cobalt, rechargeable batteries would be useless. However, most people are unaware of the immense hardships endured to sustain our modern way of life. A striking 72% of the world's cobalt production originates from Congo, a region where individuals work in deplorable conditions resembling modern-day slavery. Numerous mines operate illegally, disregarding regulations and neglecting to provide necessary safety equipment and satisfactory working conditions. Nonetheless, these mines present a significant opportunity for locals to earn a livelihood and support their families. On a fortunate day, a miner could earn $20, a remarkable amount in a country where most struggle to survive on less than $2 per day. Unfortunately, the pursuit of these valuable minerals comes at a great cost. Miners toil in hazardous environments, exposing themselves to severe long-term health risks, such as respiratory problems and even death. Children are not exempt from this predicament either. With tens of thousands being lured into the mining industry, they are often coerced into working long hours in perilous conditions and frequently come into contact with toxic substances. The world is slowly but steadily becoming aware of the harsh reality faced by the Congolese. Hopefully, coordinated efforts will be made to rectify this dire situation, ensuring that mining operations adhere to proper regulations and prioritize the well-being of those involved. Now let's move on to today's subscriber pick. In the image, an enormous creature is accompanied by puzzled individuals. What do you think when you see it? Does it resemble a sand serpent or the sand worm from Dune? Or could it be some kind of enigmatic creation constructed by humans as a practical joke? Do you have any information about its origins? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Number 13. The Billy Apes According to Darwin's theory of evolution, humans evolved from monkeys through a gradual process of adaptation and change. The missing link, an important piece of evidence in this evolutionary journey, is a form that connects the gap between monkeys and humans and proves our common ancestry. Chimpanzees are our closest relatives and share a significant amount of genetic similarity with humans, with approximately 98.8% of their DNA sequence being similar. Typically, chimpanzees are around 150 centimeters tall. However, an incredible discovery in the Bili Forest in northern Congo revealed a new species of chimpanzees that resembled a combination of gorillas and chimpanzees. These enormous chimps, called Bili apes, surpass the average height, reaching up to 180 centimeters. They possess immense strength and are capable of overpowering even lions. Their dietary preferences are similar to regular chimpanzees, and they do not coexist with gorillas. The first encounter with the Billy Apes occurred when primate ecologist Shelley Williams encountered four exceptionally large male primates in the Billy Forest. Rather than attacking, they carefully observed her before retreating. Local residents have also observed unique behaviors in the Billy Apes, such as closely watching hunters and then withdrawing, as if recognizing them as kin. The scientific community is currently conducting extensive research to gain a better understanding of these extraordinary chimps. Various hypotheses are being tested to explain their behavior, including the possibility that they are exceptionally large individuals of the chimpanzee species, hybrids of gorillas and chimpanzees, or an entirely new species of great apes. Number 14. The Giant Snake In 1959, Colonel Remy van Leerde, a Belgian Air Force officer stationed in the Congo, had a strange encounter while flying over the Katanga region. After returning from an expedition, Colonel Van Leerde witnessed an incredibly large snake, estimating it to be about 15 meters long, with a triangular head that was half a meter wide and one meter long. The snake had dark green and brown scales on its upper body, while its underbelly was white. Astonished by the sight, Colonel Van Leerde had his pilot turn the helicopter around for another look. In response, 
the snake raised its head to an impressive height of at least three meters, seemingly warning of an impending attack. Recognizing the danger, Colonel Van Leerde quickly decided to retreat and return to base. However, he made sure to document the encounter by using an onboard camera to capture images of the huge serpent. The true identity of this snake remains unknown. Researchers suggest that it could be an unusually large African rock python, a previously unidentified snake species, or possibly a descendant of the ancient Eocene snake Gigantophis. Currently, the longest recorded snake is the reticulated python, measuring around 9.9 .9 meters. If Colonel Van Leerde's estimate is accurate, this immense Congo snake surpasses all known records, highlighting the remarkable biodiversity and hidden wonders of the Congolese tropical forests. Number 15. The Gold Mountain The Democratic Republic of the Congo recently made a remarkable discovery, a mountain seemingly composed entirely of gold. This news attracted thousands of eager villagers who hurried to the site armed with shovels and their bare hands, tirelessly digging in search of the precious metal. Their excitement grew as they brought home their findings and sifted through the ore, revealing the shimmering treasure within. However, this abundant wealth continues to elude the common people, as multinational corporations claim the riches, leaving the Congo as one of the world's poorest countries. In response to the discovery of the Golden Mountain, authorities sent police forces to intervene, aiming to recover all the gold taken by the villagers. They registered the villagers and arrested others to ensure every gram of gold was returned. Mining activities were halted, and strict adherence to established rules and regulations was demanded before resuming operations. Unfortunately, the story of gold in the Congo is one of despair and hardship. The northeastern region, home to this gold field, has become a breeding ground for conflict and violence. Tragically, instead of bringing prosperity, gold has become a relentless curse, inflicting misery upon those unfortunate enough to live amidst its presence. We trust that you had a pleasurable experience watching this video and look forward to seeing you in the next one.